Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh, hold on. I was making my coffee. Oh gosh, everyone's here already? You guys are so fast. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get everything done. Ah, oh, where's my chat? All right, there we go. Okay. I think we're ready to start. Uh -huh. Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm a human. I'm an employee. <laughs> oh, no, I messed up my intro. I am a convenience store employee VTuber. Welcome to my new carnival stream. Hi, hi Satan, hi Kiki, hi Abel, hi, 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 hi Jasmine, hi Red the Cards. How are you guys doing? Yeah, what, what, what do you want? Okay, what? It, it's straight to the point. I got home. I was like, I, I can't, I cannot miss the stream. I need to stream today. Then my friend is here. Okay, I'm so sorry if like there's sounds in the background. My friend is actually here, but she's vibing at the living room. So. <laughs> I, I'm sorry you couldn't stream yesterday. I was helping out a friend. She was starving. I gotta help out, okay? She... F <laughs> Hello. I can only see his horn. What? Excuse me? I mean, it's triple, triple the danger, right? <laughs> what? I don't want Susan, the CEO of YouTube, to ban me. So... Uh -huh. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I mean, anything goes. Any What? Okay. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jen. Hi. Oh my, I still, I will just call you Taro straight up. I'll just call you Taro. Hello, Taro. I'm so sorry. I can't read your name. It can be a toy. It is a toy. Yes, guns are not allowed. For now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is a gun. It will shoot. <laughs> all right, guys. So today's event is gonna be based on Olive and Dante. It seems to be a mafia team, and apparently we have some deepest, darkest secrets between Olive and Dante. But I, I can see Dante being the mafia, but Olive. <laughs> Yeah, I have like friends who crave to be in mommy in those mommy milkers. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, are you guys ready to start chapter one, secret one? Let's go. Yeah, this is so awkward to know that my friend is in my living room and I'm like streaming. <laughs> I can't. Dante skipped you. Well, yeah, same. Olivin and Dante are just decided I not today. I'm just like, okay, I guess. <laughs> May the god of Clyde forgive you, but I won't <laughs> shut the fuck up. I thought that. <laughs> ah, what a great weather. A day like this is perfect for work, work, uh, more work. Oh, that's a new emoji. Hey yo, did they update like? Oh, I think we can expect some really cool graphics like update here. Look at that. This sermon attracted even more donations than the last one, all thanks to Olivin and his amazing reputation. I'm so curious to how they will grow back their hair after the event. Yeah, so true though. There are actually humans this time, so I'm like, mm -hmm. it, there's no excuse. Garu and Karu, uh, Garu, Karu, and Yakubo can like willingly change their appearance, you know, with magic, right? But like Dante, all of it, mm -hmm. <laughs> all those years of hard work gone. Are you Easter coming? Not clickbait. What? <gasps> what you want? You want eggs? What do you mean? <laughs> you want eggs? Oh, speaking about Easter eggs. Right, so my lore video, well, good progress. I finally opened the PSD. And that's it. I did absolutely nothing else. <laughs> well, it'll be a long time before I re-debut. Well, that's that. Not good. What do we do? 
Huh? What are those two guys doing standing outside the temple doors? She's been missing for days. Don't tell me it's because I made that joke about her fa You made what? <laughs> joke about the family? Shut the f- Shut the fuck up! Okay, I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy. Can I just debut without having like an actual party? But I feel like that defeats the whole purpose, right? I got I gotta like set off a party. I could literally stream with my like new layout, my new model and everything, but like you know, I, I feel like that's that's like doing a disservice for you guys. Standing out here isn't doing an, us any good. Why don't we go inside and ask Father Olivin for advice? Um, are you guys looking for Father Olivin too? How about we go in together? Mm -hmm. There's no need! You Please, you go first! <laughs> Feed your customers and you, I wanna talk to your manager. Oh gosh. I have no manager, it's the moi. Everything is just on me. <laughs> You want some hot milk now? Go, go. Go, go. Go make some. Get some straight from all of its titties. Oh, they ran off. Hmm, where is he? He should definitely be in the temple somewhere. What kind of milk? Well, there's only two places that it can come from, the saying. <laughs> Give me the fresh hot milk. Okay, where? Up or... Mm. <laughs> okay, now I should not... I shall not speak or else Susan, the CEO, is watching me. <laughs> Wait, the door to the confessional is open. Is there somebody... Is there someone inside? That must mean... Oh, all of it? Hello? Well, thank you for listening to me ramble on and on, Father Olivin. Well, I best be going. Oh, you you held up all of it inside. Oh, poor man. He's stuck inside with... Ah. As the distressed-looking man exits the temple, the door on the other side of the confessional opens. Oh, I love the hearts, though. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh! Wait, the heart is finally showing on the screen, guys. Thank you. Mwah. Aiden, you're, all, you're here already. Apologies. One of the faithful stopped by to share his troubles. No worries. The last thing I want to do is disturb you while you're working. Would you want to have a little break with me, Ethan, in the little confessional booth? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Ah, I better lock the other side of the confessional. Yo, for real though, I cannot see confessionals the same ever again because I play this game called Degrees of Ludity. And bro, the amount of like sex in that game, mm -mm, it would put... <laughs> I think all of it... Oh wait, I should make my player character look like all of it. I think that would suit him. Like if you guys don't know this game called Degrees of Ludity, honestly, I think you, you guys might either break, make it or break it. You, know, you either love it or hate it, it's like Marmite. But I know like the Taiwanese are like getting a hold of it and they're like thriving. And I've been seeing so much fan art, I love it. What's wrong? You seem a little down. Are you playing more corn games? Exactly, it's just text this time. There's no images even. A little bit. There is a little bit. But still. <laughs> it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a desperation now. <laughs> I do. Uh, well, it's nothing to be too concerned about. He spends every day listening to the troubles of the congregation, yet he still struggles to share his own thoughts and feelings. Ah, yes. A typical Asian household. We love to see it. I just had a great idea. How about sitting on the other side of the confessional for a change? I'll go sit in your usual spot. You talk and I'll listen. Yeah. Me? Talk? That's right. Come on. Let's give it a try. 
Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it, it? oh. <laughs> Aiden ushers the hesitant priest into the confessional before rushing to the other side. Okay, Olivin. All eyes oh. on deck. In all ways. Ahem. The blessed member of the faithful. What seems to be troubling you? You can tell me anything. Anything. Huh. The one that can play a rhythm game with the particle body part? You mean the ass game? Oh, no, no, no. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Don't worry. Uh, Degrees of Liberty is a text-based erotic adventure game that's kind of like D&D-ish a little bit. I don't know. It feels like D&D. Yes. But I hope you enjoy, because it's an ongoing project, so updates are constantly pouring in. <laughs> oh, to play a rhythm game on all these titties, shut up! <laughs> Anything at all, no matter how big or small. Although barely visible through the graded divider, Aiden imagines the priest sitting somewhat apprehensively. Thanks for the recommendation, no problems. Enjoy! Although bear- Oh, I said that already. Well, it's about the member of the faithful who just visited just now. I see, go on. His daughter, who is soon to come of age, has been frequenting the black market district of late and hasn't been home in several days. He recently caught word that she's joined a criminal organization, and now he's beside himself with worry. Mm. I see. So that's why he seems so upset? He must be at his wit's end. That's why he came to see me. But there was nothing I could do to ease his distress. Your potato phone could never- It's a text game! It's like fan fiction on drugs! It's fine! You you should be fine! You should be fine! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Olivin, do you think the fact that you weren't able to solve his problem is what's bothering you? Perhaps. Mm. The situation sounds bad, to be sure. But you did what you could to help. You can't do anything more than that. <sighs> hmm. But when it comes to the criminal activity in the black market, Esther and Marve ought to know a thing or two. How about I head back to the mansion and ask if they heard of anything? If it's no trouble, I would be eternally grateful. Most of the time, when I find myself struggling to help the faithful with their problems, I try my best not to let it get to me and carry on in my duties. <laughs> but being able to share my own thoughts and feelings like this, it's rather refreshing. We all tend to get a little blue when we can't help as much as we wish we could. That's true, but the congregation puts their faith in me. I just can't stand feeling that, like, I'm letting them down. Oh, oh, Olivine, you gotta stop doing that. This is bottling up your. This is basically why you got so horny in the first place. Hello, you almost said. Fire to the church because of the same problem! Please! It's definitely not easy to admit your shortcomings. We all feel we all feel that way sometimes. And the fact that everyone expects Olivin to be perfect all the time only makes it worse. Oh, the fact that he trusts Aiden to tell his problems for real though. It's so sweet. Like, I heard that his parents are absolute crap. Like, I thought they were really bad, like, strict. But a friend of mine, like, let me see 
how bad his parents are. It's so... Mm. Thank you, Aiden. I feel much better now. Alright, time to get back to work. As Aiden and Alvin lock up the confessional, two skinny figures appear from behind a nearby pillar. Odareda? Who is that? Oh, it's from the outside. Okay, okay. Those two from outside. Ah, oh, you too. Is there anything I could do for you? Um, well... Father Olivan, there's something we want to talk to you about. It's about Bella. B Bella? Bella? There's a name. There's a name now. The priest gives an uh, apologetic look, but Aiden waves it off. Don't worry about me. I'll go rest in one of the guest rooms until you're done. Okay. I'll be back soon. Bella from Twilight? Here we fucking yell! Shine bright like a diamond! Chapter 2! Okay, oh shit. Okay, never mind. Oh, please play. Okay. Ooh, what was that sound effect? Is it the girl that, like, all of it has been talking about for his card? He's like, oh, if it wasn't for that girl, ah, uh, the, the world would be different now, the kind of thing. Aster, Morway, one of the butlers said you were in here. My profits! My employee benefits! Oh, Satsukuda. Oh, I, I see you guys are a company slaves. What's happening here? Whoa, what's up, you two? Oh, 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 what's oh. happening? Oh, shit, my phone is passing away. Stop that. Oh, my God, new carnival, please. My phone just passed away. Oh, my God, that was too fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a new phone? Ah, oh, I have no money! <laughs> this is a good enough phone! No, I can't! It's still good! There's nothing cracked! There's nothing cracked! It's still okay! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I did not get either of them, but I think one of us got all of it. I think one of us got all of it. Dante did not come for some of us. It's pretty hard. <laughs> Master, hold me in your arms and heal my wounded little heart. Oh, oh cute! Oh, so cute! Oh, Marve is on, on Aiden's head. That's so cute. Uh, too slow again. I call the top of Master's head. What's got you two all riled up this time? It's about the casinos. You know, the one thing about New Carnival is that I really like how they connect like every event all together. Like, they do reference, like, things of last year, and, you know, it, it's basically, like, canonizing all of the, the event stories, you know? So adorable, I want a plushie of them now. They're selling their plushies! Guys, did you know they have plushies now? Official plushies! They also have manjus. They're, like, little mochis, and, like, they have, like, uh... uh do you do you guys need Niji Sanji puppets? Do you guys know that? They actually... Got the company behind the Niji puppets to do new carnival characters. So yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think what's under Movic, you can you can look it up. You can go to New Carnival's like official website or official Twitter. You can actually find their merch. It's it's there. It's on sale. Well, it's for pre-order for the most part. But like yeah, you you guys can buy. Yeah, just go go get like a Japanese proxy or a Taiwanese proxy or anywhere a anywhere like the shops have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm not sure if it's fine for me to say about my gacha result. Oh shit, you goddamn didn't you? Get out! Get out! Nah, nah, you're welcome. In my house, you're welcome. But I think, um, 
Oh yes. Why? Yes. Why? You you uh watch out. Watch out. I think one of us might, you know, maul you tonight. Good night. <laughs> you better watch out. Close your windows. Lock lock them up. Okay? <laughs> A new and highly dangerous type of magic weapon has turned up in the black market lately. Certain individuals have been spotted walking around the area carrying a weapon. And now everyone's too damn scared to go anywhere near the place. And you know what? What fewer customers means, master, don't you? Fewer profits! And without any customers, my special employee benefits have taken a massive hit. Okay, okay, Marvin, you just do not have enough dick in your life. That's what's happening. You have a dick. You have a dick discount. Okay, a discount on your dicks. Dick discount. Okay. You may not go for a poll this time. Oh, I tried at least. I gave fifty polls and nothing happened, and I'm like very sad. I would love to get a Dante though. Even though these two are not really my Oshi, it, it would be pretty pog if I got them. I don't know, I think Dante kind of like wins for me this round. <laughs> no wonder you bo you're both so distraught. Just how dangerous is this weapon? Master Aster, uh, Master Aster. Master, Master Aster, Master Aster, Jesus Christ, this is a tongue twister. Master, Master Aster, and Master Mermaid, the Sun Lord has arrived. Dante? Huh? Dante? Oh shit, <laughs> oh god, okay. Okay, okay, no, no, apparently my phone, my phone is not the problem. It's the recording device. It was totally fine on my phone. Just saying. <laughs> okay, guys. I do not need a new phone. <laughs> Whoa, okay. What about what I lost? <laughs> Who gives a crap about a filthy dumbass incubus? Go learn to suck yourself off. <laughs> Those are words I did not expect to say on stream, by the way. That's pretty pog. Buy a new recording device, this is free. <laughs> this was free. <laughs> Did someone mention your husband? Which one's your husband, Kiki? Is it Dante or Olivin? But I'm pretty sure Olivin's your mommy, though. Haha, <laughs> at least Dante knows how to hold his own against Aster's money making schemes. Damn, those two ran off fast. I haven't seen Dante in a while. I think I'll go say hi. Why have one when you can't have all of them? Oh my gosh. Aw, Yakumo, baby! Sweet snaky oh. baby, hello. Ah, Yakumo. Hmm. Heading to the kitchen? Hi. That's right. I have some recipes I've been wanting to try, so I asked the chef to allow me to prepare tonight's dinner. New recipes? You're getting me excited. Just get married already, come on. Yakumo is the best male wife. Oh shit! Hi Dante, what's up? <laughs> excited for dinner at this time of day? Just how pitiful can you get? Hey, 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 hey now. Hey now, have you tried breakfast? For dinner? That shit good, okay? I would eat cereal for dinner anytime, any day. Hurling insults as at me as soon as we meet? Just how insensitive can you get? <gasps> what? Sun Lord Dante! You don't know how lucky you are, Dante. You'll have the chance to try Yakumo's latest masterpieces tonight. No, no, please, don't get your hopes up. I can go out and buy some of the spices we used during the Sunburst Festival, if that would be more to your liking. No need. I've been on countless trips ab abroad. Do you really think of me so rigid as to, <laughs> to be unable to enjoy foreign cuisine? Sounds like a little someone in my living room right now. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 
Oh, this is so cute, baby. Forgive me. Let me. Forgive you for what? What? Dante, why are you talking in a small voice? Oh my god. Forgive me. Forgive you for what? Oh. <laughs> we love dark chocolate. What a beautiful chocolate man, baby! Let's go. Hey now, go easy on Yakumo. All you had to do had to say was there's no need to go any extra trouble on your account. I I didn't. See, asshole. Sasuga, Lord Jackass. It's okay. He's a growing Yahoo. boy. <laughs> Oh, cash cow! <clears throat> Sign Lord, the contracts are all ready. No time to delay. Off to the main hall. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was... That was dirty. That was mean. There they go. See you guys at dinner. Maga, maga, maga. Oh, that's chapter two. Ah, that was cute. That was cute. That sound, nanny. What did I say? Well, let me drink my coffee. Oh, you don't, you don't jinx yourself, why? If you're aiming for the Christmas event, you dead. If you got the gacha, like good gacha this round, you dead for Christmas. I'm dry as the Sahara Desert for the past three events now. Oh, gah? <laughs> now, where are the decks? I unfortunately did not collect any decks today. The gacha has been unkind to me. I have no tickets. I have no money. <laughs> I might lose the chance to pull my Quincy's. Well, resin pepperonis. F. Well, I guess you have no choice but to buy the pink gems now. <laughs> I love to see my customers pour everything on the ground. Poverty! Poverty! <laughs> uh, oh, Kai. Hi, Esther. What? Esther? Finish with your discussion with Dante already. Not yet. That whippersnapper can be damn unreasonable when he wants to be. But don't worry, I'll have him signing on the dotted line before he knows it. <laughs> the never-ending war between master merchant and mighty ruler. I'm not scared of poverty. Poverty is scared of me. This ain't Russia. <laughs> you should fear the money. Use your magic. Okay, use your magic card, Kiki. Use your magic card. Let's see who's talking at the end of the day. Uh, my magic card is, uh, I, I am. Uh, 28 pink gems are enough to pull for him, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think you, you only need 20, 10, 20? I think you need 20 to pull. And I think with 20, you can choose. I'm not sure. Don't, don't, don't quote me on this, no. I'm gonna use my plague. Well, Kiki, there we go again. Pandemic 2.0. We love to say it. The Kiki virus. <laughs> it's only natural. I've been betting on Solaria for several years now. And as it turns out, I was right to do so. The city's revival is bringing in money hand over fist. Several years? Since before, since before I came to this world? You knew each other back then? Wait, what? Dante ain't that... Y Dante is not that old. We did, but only as trade partners. We're much more familiar with each, each other these days. Wait, how old is Dante? Isn't he like 20... Wait, yeah, he's like 23, isn't he? Isn't he like 23? I don't remember. Wait, how old did he mean, Aster? He must be like, baby. Back then, he just succeeded the title of Sun Lord. Oh, so he's like... He's like 12. Oh my god, that's 
so cute. That means it's like tiny little Aster and tiny little Dante. Oh, they're 21. He's 20. He's 21. Dante is daddy. He's a young daddy. That's what he is. <laughs> The king, that old fart, was useless as usual. So upset, yours truly. Wow, asshole. Dante and I don't see... Don't always see eye to eye. And we regularly get into little spats. What's 9 plus 10? What? Not 19, 20, 21. What? Is he 19 or 21, guys? Is that is a very important question. <laughs> no, he... I think... I think he's 21, is he? I remember he's just the youngest one. He's the youngest one among all of them. With Garu. No, Garu's the youngest. He's the second youngest. No, they're playing his trope as the inexperienced young bastard that is a king. Because he's a virgin when we met him. He has no experience whatsoever. Aiden just railed his stick, okay? So that... <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, man. But in the space of one night, he became an orphan. Oh, shit. And later, he was even tasked with leading Solaria out of its slump. I can't even begin to imagine how he handled all that pressure and responsibility. At the very least, you have to respect his resilience. This, with this deal almost settled, all that's left is to sort out the trouble in the black market. Ah, right. I almost forgot. Master, do you know... Anything about the criminal organizations operating in the black market? Oh, he's 21. Okay, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's young. Isn't Aiden, like, 26? Yeah, that, that, that's why that's why he's like, Hey, hey, yo, fresh, a mate. Yo, I... Sure, all the big ones at least. What do you want to know, master? Well, there's this girl who went missing lately. Apparently, she's joined a criminal organization, and I said I asked around for any inf information that might help find her. He does tra he's 23? And traumatized? Oh shit, okay, okay, that- oh no. Oh shit, I'm older than Aiden. And Aiden has worked more part-time jobs than me. Oh, that- Oh god, that's a tragedy. <laughs> oh shit, that's a tragedy. Oh fuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's only 23? <laughs> oh dear. Sounds like you're looking for the bar bubble. <laughs> Dumbass Incubus, what the hell are you still doing here? I thought I told you to go investigate the black market. Old oh, Yubu shut up. That's why my hair is white. Traumatized by the- Shut up. Oh, oh my god. My chat is unhinged. I was about to- Dante is the youngest, 21. Garu is a yokai and- Oh well, yeah. Garu is a yokai. He's minimum 100 years old. According to the rainy season, it's gotta take some years, right? So- so yeah, and then Aiden's 23. Ray is probably cursed and half half yokai at that point. But part-time jobs request more physical strength. Old people cannot take freelancer stresses. Wasn't Aiden about to die at one point? Remember guys, he was like, Oh, with my habits of eating takeout food and instant food and convenience store food, I was about to pass away anytime before I came to this world. He was about to die at a, at a ripe old age of 23. Absolute tragedy. If you really want to say who's the youngest, then Topper is? Wait, how old is Topper? Wait, how- wait. How long did- how old is Topper? I don't believe- Topper has magic! That's the thing, Topper has magic! 
Topper is like 100 plus. Holy shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Topper is older than Aiden. Oh no. <laughs> Topper is the forest fairy. Oh. I was just about to set off and I overheard Master asking about a criminal organization. Fire bubble? What is that? They have branches in every territory. But the water territory is the main base of operations. Water territory? Isn't that where all of it is? It's said that they keep a tight rein on their members. And they have a special team of ultra loyal troops who go around doing all kinds of nasty stuff. Nasty stuff? Like what? Hmm. Huh. Trading in illegal goods, inciting public riots, that kind of thing. But their most well-known activities involve helping those in power. Stop going off in tangents. Oh my- oh god. Okay, I just realized how strong that was. Holy shit. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> oh my god, Marvin. <laughs> oh god. Oh, the carnival is ramping up the violence. Oh god. You were asking about a missing girl, right, Master? I was... I was getting to that. So... The word... The word is, Bar Bubble has been recruiting a lot of new members lately. Mostly young runaways with no criminal experience. I guess this girl you're looking for is one of their new recruits. I see. If it would help, Master, I cannot ask around for useful intel while I am in the black market. Huh. That would be awesome. Thanks, Morway. Ah, I just remembered. Thoughtful as I am, I decided to prepare a special task for you, Master. In case you get bored, you know? What? Huh? What task? It's the social season again, and we've received tons of gifts from the brown nosers trying to get in, all nice and cozy with a grand sorcerer. And uh, I'll probably keep most of them for myself, they're addressed to you. So it's only right you should be the one to sort through them and write thank you letters. What the? Uh -huh, why do I even bother? Aw, oh, that's cute. Hey, what chapter was that? Was that chapter 3? I think it was. Oh my god, we have 8 whole chapters to go. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, hold on guys. I gotta ask my friend if they want to go home. Because it's like... It's kind of getting a little late for them, and I'm a bit worried that they can't catch a cab home. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment. I'll mute myself.
Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for dropping by. Oh my god. Ah, ah thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> you looks like you've seen greater days. <laughs> Guys, star. I'm imagining a Yumu forces his friends to play New Carnival now. Oh no, my friend plays New Carnival! My friend plays New Carnival! I think she's watching my stream! That's the thing, I think she's watching my stream! Guys, it's embarrassing! She is listening! She is listening to me! <laughs> she's like, hey, 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 hey. She's like, oh, you got go in I'm like, bitch ass, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> Keeping an eye on us? Yes, she is. She is watching y'all. That's a great friend. She is. She is very, very sweet. Oh. Alright, so it should be chapter four. She's not gone yet. We're waiting for the cab, so I might like disappear a little bit more later. Was it chapter 4? There we go. Oh my god, please. Chapter 4, let's go! I know it's pretty late, but I'll bet Aster is still up. I'll go check his office. Oh shit, your chats aren't exposed? Yeah, you're global now, Kiki. Your rat-infested chat. It's okay. Crunchy rat. Fried rat is good. I couldn't sleep, so I decided to start on the task he gave me, but I got totally lost. Better to ask him for advice than mess everything up. The light on this office is on. I guess he must be... I haven't been in contact with the bar bubble for years. A request like this is way too troublesome. You misunderstand. This isn't a request. Preventing news of the meeting from getting out was part of our deal. What? Ooh, I love it when, like, Aster is actually serious because, like, you know, Aster is just being cute, right? But now he is business mode. Dante? What could they be di discussing so late at night? I could swear they mentioned Bar Bubble just now. Uh... On second thought, I really shouldn't be eavesdropping on the private conversation. Cocky little rascal. Don't forget how I helped divert Master's attention from this exact topic by finding a special task for him to do. It wasn't easy, you know. Huh? They're talking about me now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Kiki. <laughs> oh dear, my... Program okay, it's it's working now. Thank God. You? Haha! <laughs> Exposed! Okay, now... Okay, it's not working. Hold on, guys. It's It froze. It froze. Give me a moment, y'all. Oopsie. Oopsie. See, Kiki? This is what you did. How could you do this to me? Oh, no. Oh shit, okay, I think my friend wants to leave now. G uh, give me a moment. The door is locked. <laughs> okay, hold on, my friend is calling for me.
Okay, sorry for the money. Sorry for the wait. Oh my god, that was funny. Well, that was funny. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, Kiki. No, my friend was so sad. She messaged me and she was like, "The you the door is locked. Please, por favor, let me out." No, no, no. I was like, "Oh shit! All right, I'm coming. I'm coming." <laughs> Okay, also, also, my phone kind of died. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay, guys. Thank you for, like, like holding on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's restart the stream. Uh, re restart the thingy. All right. Okay, we should be good now. And, uh, oh, dear God. Okay. My other horny game was about to... Was about to perish right there. Okay, this should be good. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, dear. Ah! Oh, no! Barichata! Barichata! Ah, my corn game! Oh, no! My corn game! You guys did not see anything. Mm-mm-mm. Uh-uh-uh. You did not see nothing. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so that was degrees of lunacy, guys. Okay, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, so, oh my god. Well, okay, I guess I dox myself. And you know, when we catch you, you shut up, shut up, guys. Okay, shut the fuck up. Okay, no, <laughs> you did not see my other corn games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Thank goodness, thank goodness! My wallpaper and everything is not Doc's material. It's just really cute. It's just a new carnival wallpaper. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Oh my God! I was about to die! <laughs> oh my God! Okay, all right. Let's go. Let's get back to the story, y'all. Master. Sorry, am I disturbing you two? Yeah, guys. Yeah, you you guys kind of low-key insulted Aiden here. Hello? In short, give me all the pertinent information you've acquired. As for your extortion scheme, we'll wait and see what happens. Oh, Dante is not even, like, gonna explain. No. Extortion scheme? That's my livelihood you're talking about. Dante, Dante, what have I done to make you think so little of me? Hmm. Enough of your theatrics. I'm going to bed. Dante turns and leaves without giving Aiden a second glance. Cold! Sanoi! Cho Samoy! Nandeya! Is it just me, or was Dante acting pretty weird just now? Oh, you'll see him more delicious later, Kiki. Mm -hmm. I thought Dante might stick around for a few more days, but when I looked outside this morning, his carriage was gone. Oh man, there no one's answering anything. Good night, everyone. Oh my god, uh, I have no eyes to see. When I asked Aster, he said Dante had a change of plans, so he went to stay somewhere else. He fucking ran away? He knew, he knew Aiden will ask. He knew. Don't forget how I helped divert Master's attention from- Oh right, yeah. Yeah, Aster was like straight up saying, we can't tell Aiden, no matter what. Maybe it's because I overheard them talking last night. Yeah. It's a little secret, you know, but what? why Why should you keep it a secret from Aiden? Aiden's the grand sorcerer, you know? He gotta fix things. He gotta be everyone's therapist. Come on, y'all. Just what were they trying to hide from me? It's kind of sad, though. FOMO for real. Eh, no point think I'm thinking about that now. If they don't want to tell me, there's not much I can do.
Aiden shifts his focus at the task in hand, trying to distract himself from the events of the previous evening. Maybe it links to Aiden, will it? How? I better move these supplies inside the temple. That way, we won't have to rush stuff over from the light territory on the day of the next sermon. As Aiden picks up a crate and heads for the temple's main entrance, Olivin exits accompanied by a familiar face. Well, that's the gist of it. Oh shit! Literally everyone is into it except for Aiden? Oh, that's that. Aww. That's like FOMO for real. Let me be part of the mafia too, guys. Barbable. Hmm. In truth, I've noticed certain young people have been visiting the temple far less than usual lately. Hey, Marve. Do you give Olivin the lowdown about the whole Barbable theory? Master, you're here. Perfect. I was about to tell Olivin what I didn't get around to telling you yesterday. Huh? There's more? Oh, Marwe, you sweet child. Thank you. Thank you. You included us. That's right. The thing is, Barbubble never used to recruit ordinary civilians. But it seems that they recently changed their recruitment strategy. <laughs> Aiden's villain origin? No wonder there's Ray. Wait, does well can Aiden even feel like any bad bone in his body? I feel like he's incapable of being bad, you know. Aiden feels left behind. Oh no! Oh no, not again. Maybe because of their new leader, the collector. What? The collector? Well, that's just a nickname. His real name is Duke. <sighs> Where it is, it's a bit radical. The shitty little vampire says he's the one behind the emergence of the new weapon in the black market. And apparently, quite a few barbell book captains aren't so thrilled with his way of doing things. Recruiting ordinary civilians, spreading dangerous weapons, this Duke guy sounds like a real piece of work. So he's like a... So he's a mafia guy, right? What is he? Gangster? Yakuza. If we don't stop him, more and more young people could fall prey to his organization's schemes. If they stick to the black market, there's pretty much nothing anyone can do. But if they keep venturing further afield, it won't be long before the knights get involved. <laughs> Jesus, your name being Duke is... <laughs> Father Olivin. The three men turned to see a girl about 16 standing on the steps in front of the temple's main entrance. Bella! Bella? Where have I heard that name before? Where have you been? I heard my family came to talk to you about me. If they come again, could you let them know that I'm safe and well? Bro! Oh my god, you stupid child! You still want to go with the Mafia? Hello? You stupid child Mafia! Oh my god. Why don't you go home and tell them yourself? Well, I, I still have unfinished business. I can't go home right now. Are you involved in something dangerous? Why won't you talk to me about it? I'm sorry. There's just no way someone as pure and righteous as you, Father Olivin, could understand. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Pure. Righteous? <laughs> well, righteous, yes. Pure. Pure, though. Don't know about that. But that's kind of sad, though. Yeah, that kid's gonna like... Oh, man. She dumb. Wait. Olivin grabs the girl by the arm. She's shaking, and the colors has drained from her cheeks. 
Yeah, I bet she got in, into like a debt. So like she has to pay back or else her entire family will get hurt. I won't force you to talk, but at least let me give you a blessing. Oh. The priest takes the girl's hands in his own and says a few words. May the god of Klein bless you wherever you may go. The god of Klein may forgive you, but I won't. <laughs> The girl mutters a quiet thank you before disappearing into a distance. Who was that? Her name is Bella. I've known her for a very long, long time. Her parents have always struggled to make ends meet, often having to spend long periods working away from home. As such, She's used to spending a lot of time taking classes at the temple. Do you remember the man who was in the confessional with me last time? Yeah. Oh. Wait, don't tell me. That was his daughter? Hi. That's right. I heard about what happened from the two young men who showed up that day. When they saw Bella's father exiting the temple, they made the decision to come in and talk with me. Mm. So that was her. I wish she could have told us a little more. Who knows when we'll see her again. Actually, I cast a tracking spell on her just now. Huh? Hey? Tensai! <laughs> See, he's not that righteous and pure. He's a little cunning. Look at him. He ain't pure. Nuh uh. Nuh uh uh. So giving her a blessing was just a ruse? Your holiness, I never knew you had it in you. Fight me, I'll fight you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Abel, you're right here. <laughs> Saraba. <laughs> Eaten. Oh, sorry. You're too slow. <laughs> too zeta slow. So giving her a blessing was just... Oh, wait, I said that already. Mmm, Abel flavor. Why am, I sl why am I slurping? Abel is the little greasy... That's why she's a little soupy. Hunter hunts. Oh no, I'm late. It's okay. Welcome, welcome. Don't worry about it. We're like a little bit of a crucial moment. Chapter four, chapter five. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm too juicy. <laughs> oh, that those are words that I do not wish to read. <laughs> it's a Yuma eating the customer just now. Yes, Abel is gone. Abel is gone. I yum yum. Oh, <laughs> I'm not reading. I'm not reading no more. Sarawa, goodbye. Oh, blah, blah, blah. A tracking spell? When did you learn to do that? When I was asked to infiltrate the sorcerer's trials, just to be on the safe side, I decided to learn a few new techniques. That's our Olivin. Though I'm not sure what the other priest would make of his new skills. I feel a bit bad. Casting a spell on her in secret like that? But if she really is part of a criminal organization, I'm afraid that something terrible could happen to her if we don't intervene. Alright, is there anything I can do to help? You really want to help, Master? Mm. Yep. Thinking about all those young people you've known for so long, getting involved with criminal activities has worried you sick, right, Olivin? Having you join an investigation would be indeed be helpful, but are you sure it's no trouble? Aiden's kind of like a freeloader right now. He would love to join now. He would love to join us. Come on, don't worry about it. Don't worry, I'll make sure 
to tell you if things get are started to get a little too sticky. Until then, use me however you like. Okay, Aiden, we'll take you up on that. Your Oshiri, Saraba. Your Oshiri, very big. You're the best, Master. And gracious as I am, I've got something special for you. I tell you, this wasn't easy to get my hands on. Something special? It's something the shitty little vampire sent me to investigate. The most sought after item in the black market right now. Don't tell me. What? What was it? Why did you end there? Oh my god. Was that chapter 4? So it's chapter 5 now, right? What is it? Oh my god. I've been seeing a picture flying around my Twitter and I really hope it's not what I think it is. Please God no! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh no! Is that what? Was I too fast? Oh God! Oh God! That should be chapter four then. It should be chapter four. Let's go! Let's go! Where it go? Huh? Should be chapter four, right? Oh no! It's not. It's really chapter five. We are going straight into a bar. Okay, it's chapter 5. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Are they not even gonna tell us what the toy is? Chap Secret 5. Secret 5. Are you, are you keeping the decks? What deck? I only have one. <laughs> Yakumo has two. Aiden gently pushes... Open the door to the bar and peeks inside. Hello? Master, over here. Ooh, I like this bar vibe though. It's pretty pog. At first glance, the place seems- What the fuck? Oh, it's on auto! Oh my god, that was fast! Oh gosh. The place feels empty. Following the voice, Aiden soon sees a familiar face. Hey, Marvay. Why did you insist on meeting here? Well, this place is one of my regular sources of intel. I'm pretty tight with the boss, so he lets me store stuff here from time to time. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a special tool that will help us later! Dear, a bulky briefcase sits on the table. Morve opens it with a swift click. Take a look at what the Black Market's new weapon. Hmm? Is that an outfit? Rumor has it that a famous underground craftsman once got his hands on a weapon from an unknown land and copied it using client crafting techniques. But it was super difficult to manufacture, and the authorities felt it was too dangerous and outlawed its use. As a result, weapons like these haven't been seen anywhere in years, even in the black market. Until recently, that is. Hmm. I see, but I still don't get how an outfit could be a weapon. You have to do more than just wear it, of course. To use it as a weapon, you have to pair it with this handheld essence conductor. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good night. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you for dropping by. Are you sure you want to miss out on what is the handheld essence conductor? The special material used to make the outfit conducts essence to the handheld essence conductor, where the essence forms into bullets. This way, even those with low essence levels can fight using essence. Special materials conduct the essence to handheld essence conductor, where it forms into bullets. S Wait, does that mean I could use it too? Exactly! This type of weapon is perfect for someone like you who has tons of essence but has no way of using it, Master. Wow, I better take a closer look at this so-called handheld essence conductor. Ah. No problem. I do not. 
I have a feeling. I have a feeling that I know what this is. So it's an extractor. Oh no. Huh? What the? It looks like a... I fucking knew it. Bro! Where's the clip? I... Bro! Fucking! Hey! Hello? Stop with the cliffhanger! Hello! Let me see the toy! Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man. What does it look like? <laughs> There's this like... Oh my god! So soft seductive murmurs float through the air. Creeping along the library's knowledge filled aisles. Is... Is it really okay for us to break the rules like this? We're just having a little bit of fun. Nothing wrong with that. Separated by only a few bookcases in a quiet corner. Woohoo. Young Ol Young Olivin? What? Olivin? You were not a virgin when I met you? Oh shit! Oh shit! No. I've endured for all of it. You're watching. He's watching. He's not. He's a virgin, but he's been. In... <laughs> he's watching. He's watching. But I'm sure it's okay if I touch it just a little. Oh. It's his first time jacking the chains. And he was listening to a couple doing the do. Oh my god. He is such a pure little boy. Oh my god. He's he's sweating like a sinner in church. Oh gosh. <sighs> After some time, the two, the two lovers make their exit, leaving the student alone and covering, covering in his corner of the library. Poor Olivin, forgive me, I have sinned. <laughs> oh, you will do far worse later in life. Don't worry, Olivin. This is the least of your problems. After experiencing the apex of pleasure, the student feels an intense fear come over him. Yeah, for real? Yeah. You are- you have not said you have been milked. <laughs> yeah, I think? Yeah, it's like- oh god. So wait, is this a dirty little secret? Oh! Okay, uh, okay. So this event says that Dante and Olivin has something that they consider their number one secret. Oh god, so... <laughs> he picks up the lamp sitting on a table and holds the candle over his arm. Oh. Yeah! The molten wax brings it Intense pain. The look of fear on the student's face quickly dissolves. Accept your punishment and everything will be okay. Oh my god, he's teaching himself to be a masochist from this- Oh, okay. No, yo, guys, he's accidentally- he's not intentionally doing this, but I think he's low-key accidentally making himself as a masochist. He's starting to like pain. I I swear to God, this is where it all starts. Oh, <gasps> empty. A dream, and about that of all things. Dante gonna have a secret about getting captured by tentacles or something. Oh my God, I would love to see that though. Not gonna lie, I thought Dante would be a bottom, but I was wrong. I still wish for that day someday. To see some fan service. There's just no way someone as pure and righteous as you, Father Olivin, could understand. Goodbye. 
pure. <laughs> All of it. Oh, Abel, you've been questioned by All of it himself. No, in reality, I best get some rest before I meet up with Aiden tomorrow. Well, that was chapter 5. We still have no idea how that toy looks like. And we still... Well, that was uh, his horny little secret. Hee <laughs> hee, har har. Alright, chapter 6. Let's go. Let's... Come on, we gotta, we gotta see what the essence conductor looks like. It's apparently an extractor. And there's only one thing I can think of that I've been, I've been seeing in my timeline. It's not a deck. It's not a deck. Nuh uh. The next day, in an uninhabited forest close to the war territory, the black market border. This should be the place, but where is Aiden? The priest hears fallen leaves crunching underfoot, as if someone is approaching. Aiden, is that? Oh. Oh, new outfit! New outfit! Hanging tree branches obscure the individual space. Dressed in an unusual outfit, the man approaches Olivin. Stop! The priest stands, holy book in hand, ready to strike. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, this is nostalgic, not gonna lie. Okay, so when I grew up, I grew up with like a lot of Chinese dramas featuring gangsters and this is what they wear. This is what they wear. Yeah, do you guys know this trope? Where it's, I, I don't know, it's kind of like there, there's something in the, the, the hentais and the doujins. He looks amazing, yeah. No, can you? Get, no, I can see it now, guys. Yo, know, imagine a gangster, big, big on the pride, and then with sex, he slowly gets mind breaked. Yeah, exactly. This is what this outfit implies for me. Oh, we can see his little tummy. That's cute. There's a tummy there. And not gonna lie, this shirt is pretty nice, though. He looking like the gangsters from those high school rom com. Yeah. Are you saying he looks like an NTR NPC? Oh my god. No, no, not that. No. My fair cop up. Oh my god. My fair cop cop just drops in and says, "Are you saying he looks like an NTR NPC?" <laughs> and fucking leaves. Oh my god. No. Well. I, yeah! Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. You're right. You're actually right. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, I can never... I can never speak to any of you again. Good night. <laughs> oh, there's black gloves. Yeah. What is that on his hand? Oh, it's a bracelet. That's cute. Okay, let's continue. Oh gosh. Gangster... X, Y, yeah, 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 totally, totally, totally. I remember the NPC always wearing this kind of shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all, no. The braid is really cute. Oh, there's a braid. Oh, he has two. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is cute. I like how his hair is kind of swept back a little bit. This is cute. What else does he have on him? I can't see much. Aiden? It really is you. But what are you wearing? <laughs> it's the black market's newest weapon. Well, part of it at least. You're probably as confused as I was at first. So I better show you this. Oh no. Oh god. Guys, here we go! The, the, the object! The essence conductor! Aiden crouches down, 
clicks open the briefcase and removes an object. Oh, it's a gun. Okay, so it's a gun. Okay. Um, what is it? This uh, this cannot be the conductor. <laughs> Listen up, Oliver. This thing works better than casting magic. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a handheld essence conductor. It's pretty similar to a type of weapon we have in my old world. Gave me quite a fright when I first saw it. It's a little more limited in its uses, but we'll get to that later. You better change into this first. I can't. I keep- my brain keeps thinking of like all of in memes where he holds a gun. He's like, I'm a healer, but... <laughs> okay. Wow! Nom 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 nom. I'm ready. Ooh hoo hoo. Wait, did it change in the middle of the forest? Damn. Damn, the whole bad boy priest is look as hot as hell. Hallelujah! Praise be the God of Clyde! Huh, it's a bit tight up here. <laughs> you can let go one button if you like. Watching you fiddle with that chest strap, I'm starting to feel a little tight somewhere too. Oh Jesus Christ, Aiden, down! 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 <laughs> oh God, that's direct! <clears throat> anyway, back to business. First up, grab your essence conductor. Like this. Priest and guns. A match made in heaven if I ever saw one. Lord, forgive my sins, but these factors are getting into my nerves. Shoots gun. Holy shit. I may be a healer, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's perfect. Now release her essence into the outfit and pull the trigger. The little notch where your index fig figure goes. Finger goes. Here. Yeah, but be careful how much essence you... Before Aiden can finish, Oliven pulls the trigger and unleashes a blinding flash, flash of white light. Whoa! Spirit gun! The essence bullet blasts through a tree, sending it crashing to the ground. The scent of scorched vegetation fills the air. White light. Shut up, Abel. Abel, shut up! <laughs> Sorry, I think I may have gone overboard. <laughs> ah, don't worry. It's my fault not to, for not saying anything sooner. Since we both have high essence levels, we have to make sure we properly control how much essence we release. Aiden raises his essence conductor and fires a few shots into the open space ahead of him. Wow! The bullets of condensed essence hit the ground, leaving behind tiny pockmarks like craters. You also have to pay attention to how many shots you fire. The more you use it, the longer it takes for the essence conductor to cool down. Oh, so there is a cool down. Okay. And, la and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we don't give all of it a gun. <laughs> but he got them buns, though. I see. I'll try to my best to be careful. Alright, let's head out. Where's Dante? The two men attract a few curious glances from passers-by as they make their way through the gloomy streets. Oliver casts a disguise spell to change our faces. Still, I'm not used to people staring at me like this. Oh yeah, you look like a gangster! <gasps> but 
It looks like Morve was right. Dante is me sleeping. Now we gotta have our daddy together. Woo woo. Anyone who can get their hands on an outfit like this is either rich, powerful, or both. Put it on, and most people will will steer cl well clear of you. Sure enough, they're all keeping their distance, watching us from afar. That's the place. Olivan points towards a modest yet clearly well-maintained building just up ahead. Bella spent the majority of the time here before the tracking spell finally wore off. Is this the Bar Bubble's base of operations? The two men slip into a dark alley to ponder their next move. Dante? Oh. Look, the gate's opening. A group of fearsome-looking individuals appear at the at their center. Walks a lavishly dressed middle-aged man, oozing with an air of authority. Today's discussion was delightful indeed. I look forward to our next meeting in three days' time. The man turns and smiles at the individual following behind. <gasps> Dante? You were in the black market? Oh no! Oh dear! Chapter 7? Let's go! Are y'all howling and you're all barking? Start! Go! Go guys! Go! Go! <laughs> Into the forest everybody! Oh god, oh wow, oh god. <laughs> My chat though. <laughs> Go! I choose you! My customers! Go feral! Bark! Bark now! <laughs> Chapter 7, let's go! <laughs> Just give in, Hunter. You can't beat them. Join them. Join us. <laughs> Sun Lord? What could he be doing here? <gasps> I'm a rat, but I only bark for one person only. Kiki is like... The idea of rats being unable to want it. But they can gag. You know, this this is what Kiki is. Kiki is the rat that can gag. And everyone's like, what the fuck? I thought rats got gag. <laughs> Stand up, join us, join us, join us, Hunter. Look at that, he's hot, look at him. The fact that you shifted your attention to Solaria proves just how reckless you are, Collector. <laughs> Have a little sympathy. It's getting harder and harder for us to do business in the water territory. <laughs> the acquisition of a few safeguards in the fire territory would be beneficial for all those involved. Hmm. Beneficial? <laughs> a funny way to des describe a balan threat. What else is getting harder and harder? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my chat. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, calm down. <laughs> Is that Bar Bubble's top guy? How the heck does Dante know him? Aiden, I think we better get out of here. Oi, what do you guys think you're doing? <gasps> oh shit. Gun. 
Aiden feels something cold and hard press against the back of his neck. Out of the corner of his eye, he sees an essence conductor pressed. He sees that gun pressed onto into Olivin's back. Yes. Move it, nice and slow. Boss, these two were spying on us from that alley over there. Oh? Who do we have here? Yes, Kappa, go! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha! <laughs> Use your money, go! The man clicks his fingers and dis the disguise spell vanishes. This could be a problem. Stay cool. Stay cool, Dante. Well, if it isn't the Grand Sorcerer and the Temple Priest, Sun Lord, it seems you brought no shortage of little helpers along with you. Oh shit, did we, did we fuck everything up? Who I bring with me is not even concerned. Tell your men to lower their weapons. The duke waves his hand and the two henchmen drop their weapons and take a step back. Hello, Kuriesta. Welcome. Sorry, everybody's a little feral right now. No calm, no calm. Just go. Just go ahead, guys. Start frothing around the mouse. Mouth. Start frothing right now. Get on all fours. <laughs> Gotta do that. Let's go. Composed as ever, Dante approaches Aiden and Alvin under the watch of the Duke and his subordinates. Yeah, you fucked everything up. Aiden turns to take one last look at the criminal leader. The Duke gazes back at the three men, a broad grin on his face. Ah, we fucked things up. Oh no. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Look at him. He's mad. They're sorry, Dante. What are you two doing here? It... Uh, well, we're looking for someone we think might have joined the bar bubble. And what about you? Walking about bar bubble's base in that outfit? Not to mention your brand new haircut? What's going on? <gasps> Aiden reaches out to rub Dante's fi fire fiery red hair, but the Sun Lord bats his hand away. That is none of your concern. Something else he's trying to hide from me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> The puppy dog eyes! Dante, you're kinda cold, aren't you? Oh, he's weak. He's weak to Aiden's puppy dog eyes. Not so long. Oh, oh he... <laughs> uh, he's exposing it all now. Look, here we go. A letter? From Bar Bubble's leader? In the letter, he explained how he had learned some sensitive information that could be very damaging to Solaria if it ever came to light. He even enclosed a, a piece of in disinformation to, the, to back up his claim. Information that, in theory, only I and my predecessors should have known. He demanded that I give him certain Solarian privileges within the next three days, or he would release the information to the Solarian people. Oh, he's blackmailed! Oh, How could something like this happen? Oh shit, what's happening? Aster and Dante's conversation from that night. You misunderstand. This isn't a request. Preventing news from the meeting from getting out was part of our deal. Mm. That meeting he mentioned, is that what he's trying to keep hidden? Hm. In any case, I don't plan on letting him have his way. Dante stops and looks around. 
his eyes lingering on a particular spot. A red mark on the ground. Did someone paint it there? This way. Whoa! The two men followed Dante, paying attention to the red signals along their path, until finally arriving at a doorway hidden within a narrow alley. What are these markings? There are signals left behind by an informant that I've been dealing with. They guide me to our secret meeting points. You said you were looking for someone, didn't you? Perhaps the informant can help. I love how an event could be climbed in flames and still the first thing Aiden would be like, So, what's the new look? Hot. Exactly. He's just... <laughs> ah. He doesn't think too much. When he does, he's really nice. But when he doesn't, well, that's Aiden for you. The three men step inside and Dante closes the door. He knocks on the inside of the door three times. A petite figure emerges. Oh, is it Bella? Oh shit, what is this? Father Olivin? Yo shit, Bella is about to, <laughs> to see Father in a whole different light. Oh gosh. Bella? Huh? What the? Bella is your super secret informant? She's just a kid. They grow up way too fast these days. Do you know each other? She's the person we're looking for. Small world, huh? How do you two know each other? I was on the lookout by an infor for an informant in the black market, and it just so happens that she's one of Bar Bubbles' newest recruits. Don't talk about that in front of Father Olive. Hmm. Huh. She's been handsomely compensated, yet I haven't heard a word from her in days. Then out of the blue, she came looking for me today. Well, you see, a few captains have been keeping a close eye on me lately. Bella, her family has been worried sick about you. How could you go off and get yourself involved in something so dangerous? Uh-huh. A scolding from Olivin. Scary. To make up for your extended absence, you better have some valuable intel for me. <laughs> Girly, he's not father anymore, he's daddy. <laughs> Of course, I have some real juicy intel. Lately, Barbubble has been recruiting tons of new members, me included. And you guess it would be pretty hard to manage all those new members, right? But the boss had a special trick up his sleeves that he uses to control all the new recruits. Ooh. He uses something called the Pure White Proof. Your white proof? It's a special kind of handkerchief. All he has to do is touch a single drop of your blood to the handkerchief, and a golden key formed from your deepest, darkest secret appears. Your deepest, darkest secrets? And he uses that to control his subordinates? Is that why you haven't been able to escape? That sounds like something every member would know. Do you take me for a fool? Of course not. I... Oh, Blood Key. Okay, now that kind of makes sense. Where the title of the, the event is coming from. Did, did she just glance at all of it? I know where the pure white proof is hidden. I can help you sneak into the base and take it. Then you can use it as a bargaining chip to get the boss to hand over the keys. Despite that crooked vampire's help, not much time remains before I'd be forced to concede to the, Duke, the Duke's demands. Our bargaining chip is exactly what I need. 
Blackmailing people with their de deepest, darkest secrets. I can't allow such a dangerous thing to be used to lure children away from the, the god of Klein's holy guidance. Fine, it's settled. Tomorrow night, you'll help me infiltrate the bar bubble space. Oh my god, these two are like mommy and daddy right now. Look at this. Like it used to, okay, it used to be like the the Christmas event where Quincy is the daddy, Oliver's the mommy, and then Dante is the older brother. And now Dante has stepped up. He is the the daddy now. <laughs> oh, please wait a moment, Sun Lord. She's just a child. I don't think she should be doing something so dangerous. At her age, she will be considered an adult in Solaria. It was her choice to enter a world, the world of the black market. Should she be considered a child only when you see fit? Ooh. Okay then, then I will also go. You can't! Why not? Because, because it's too much too dangerous. I'm afraid you'll get her- Oh, Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh, Bella, sweet child. Oh, you don't know the true danger of all of it. Rest assured, I know how to look over myself. Uh, look after myself. Hell yeah, you should see him whip out his essence conductor. Okay, I'll find a new meet meeting place and we'll meet there tomorrow night. Ah... Ah, that was chapter 7. Okay, things are building up. What do you guys think is gonna happen in chapter 8 before we're stuck here for one whole week? Ah, coffee is so good. Ah, okay, are you guys ready for the last chapter of this week? Thank you so much for waiting, guys. It's chapter 8. Let's go! Yeah, come on. I don't want it to end. I'm not sure. Still kind of lost. Basically, Mafia. <laughs> Illegal. Aster in trouble. Because no money. Morve in trouble. Because no penis. So, they gotta figure out what is happening. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. Sun Lord Dante, Sun Lord Dante. The fiery haired youth turns at the sound of the old man's hurried footsteps and anxious cries. What is it? Oh, young Dante? I just received a report. The people are planning another revolt. Unless we find a way to end to end the famine soon, I fear the situation will only get worse. Oh. What news of the officials who attempted to hide huge stocks of grain in order to incite the uprising? Have we not found a way to remove them from their posts? I'm afraid so. They are rich men, and they use their wealth to great effect. They have many influ 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 influential figures in their pockets, so to speak. Sun Lord Dante, I fear you are left with no other choice. You know a, of a way to resolve this, this mess? Indeed, I do. Lately, rumors of an organization named the Bar Bubble have spread among the governing bodies of each territories. Yeah, I'm passing away. My tongue is dying. Oh my god, guys. My English is gone. Ah, ah, <laughs> no. Wait a minute. What are you trying to suggest? Bar Bubble is known to be a criminal organization. <laughs> oh, thank you. Drink water? Okay, okay, I shall. Okay, that's a little bit. You would have Sun Lord Dante allow such an unscrup a crappy outfit 
uh, oh my god, intervene in Solarian affairs? Do you have a means of contact with this organization? Ooh. Do you recall a particular merchant who claimed to be one of the Grand Sorcerer's most trusted confidants? He has a vast network of contacts on both sides of the law. Sun Lord Dante, what would your mother and father say? I am the Sun Lord now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Piece of water. What? 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 <laughs> I'm trying. <sighs> you will do whatever it takes to ensure Solaria's survival, even. Ooh. Yeah, honestly, though, I won't be surprised if Dante is like involved with all this kind of stuff the saying he did have to raise a country from this from like absolutely nothing at the age of 12 right the coffee is taking over here <laughs> a dream about my first days as a sun lord even if that fool learned what of what happened back then it would do me no harm but and that. <laughs> I'm sorry. The way they say Dante in Japanese is Ente. Up already, huh? How about some breakfast? <laughs> Comfortable enough to use the temple's kitchen as you see fit. Oh, wait, guys. I just realized. If you're going to see Olivin and Dante's secrets, what is Aiden's darkest secret? <gasps> oh! Oh shit, what is Aiden's darkest secret here? Oh, it work. <laughs> Comfortable enough to use the temple's kitchen as you see fit, are you? Seems that you'll treat just about anywhere as if it were your own home. Getting traumatized by Dex? No! Attachment. Oh no! Oh oh god. Oh dear. I feel like it would be like everybody leaving him. I feel in the orphanage, everyone's leaving him or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment to my amazing adaptability skills. Got it. No snappy comeback? If I didn't know better, I'd almost say you look a little blue. Hm. Huh. Nonsense. I merely have no desire to listen to another one of your endless streams of drivel. If he, if he knew of what happened, would he still look at me with those same eyes? That's it! Bitch! So, <laughs> so, I assume Dante has to murder. <laughs> His secret was murder. <laughs> I have to say, he's. <laughs> my chat is a little. Oh my god, y'all are being a little beach. I'm sorry he looks a little red and orange. He's totally red. Guys! <laughs> and then we have Jasmine in the corner going like... <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, it's red. He's red. He's red. <laughs> Alright. Damn. I struggled a bit. But we made it. There... <laughs> Dante's become so soft towards Aiden. <laughs> For real though, he has changed a lot. Like honestly, he's one of the characters that I didn't really have any impression with when he was first introduced because he he really didn't have much going on as, except for like being no. We have like so many Sundares. Do you get me? We have Kuya, the 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 OG son, 
Sunere. We have Edmund, the sweet Sunere. And then we have Dante, the Lord Jackass King Sunere. So like... So like, I was like, bro, another one? And then he got so soft. He cares so much about wife's opinion. Aww. Oh, I, uh, yo, for real though, the, 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 the little puppy dog eyes that Aiden did when he was like, Oh, you're not gonna tell me? It, it, it's the same vibe of that one seal that looks like, I'm gonna leave, is that okay? Do you want me to leave? I can leave, you know. <laughs> oh yes, Karu, your sundere. Oh, Jasmine like the Jasmine likes the sundares. I see how it is. Wait, where's the where's the sexy toy? Hello? What the? The where? Oh, so, did someone leak the sexy toy? Hmm. <laughs> All of it confesses his horny secret and then Dante is like, I killed the guy. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. For real though. And like all of it's like, oh, I I committed a great sin. I I listened to my classmates checking off. And I was checking off too. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then Dante is like, I killed many people. I am a murderer. <laughs> Alright guys, I guess that's it for, for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Okay? Thank you so much for dropping by. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Have a good autumn and Halloween. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, to me.